Why don't Americans like Indian food? Perhaps if they tried it for the first time, it would change their minds. I tried my theory on my two friends named Aaron and Christopher who had never tasted it before. On a scale of one to ten, how good do you think it'll taste? Five. Definitely a five. Six. All right, let's go try it. While my American friends try Indian food for the first time, I thought I would talk to an expert on the topic named Josh. So tell me where you're from. Well, I was born in the uh, southern state of Kerala, which is like the southern tip of India. It's very hot and humid there all uh, year long. And then my parents moved to North India. The uh, kind of missionaries work at Christian school um, there as a ministry, and so they did a little bit of that for a while, and then we moved to America, moved near the Chicago area. So, so why don't Americans like Indian food? <laughs> you know, I think it really is probably an aspect of never having tried it, an aversion to new things, because sometimes we just get set in our ways. And I think that's for any culture, you know. Um, if you ask Indians why they don't like American food, it's the same thing. Uh, they think that our American food has no flavor, it's terrible, it doesn't have spice, and... Uh, it's gross. I think it's the same thing. It works on both sides. So what is Indian food? I think it's kind of hard to define what Indian food is. I mean, it's a, a flavorful cuisine. Um, now, there's different types of Indian food. Um, you know, in South India, it's a different flavor profile than, say, North Indian food. Um, you have vegetarian, non-vegetarian cuisines as well. Um, people say that not all Indian food is the same, and which is true. Just like how not all American food is the same. But when you go to an American restaurant, you kind of know what main foods that you're getting. Just like in India. But generally speaking, there's a basic foundation of spices that, that we use. You know, uh, you have things like garam masala, which is, um, you can buy that spice like in an American uh, grocery store. But it's a mix of different spices. I think, you know, like cumin and coriander and put all together. And, um, made into a spice, a basic profile, flavor that you use as a starting base for many of your cuisine, so. Is Indian food healthier than American food? I would say as a whole, yeah. I mean, because we eat a lot of fried garbage. I mean, <laughs> so whenever you fry something or deep fry something, and uh, yeah, I mean, as we use a lot of fresh fresh uh, vegetables and, you know, using uh, rice and fresh meat, so yeah, healthy. So what would you say to an American who doesn't want to try Indian food? Expand your horizon. Um, there's more to the world than just America. The more you expand your horizons and trying different types of food, the more you'll able to have common ground with other people that aren't like you. And it might be a bridge to talk to them, have conversations with other people so that you can um, find similarities and differences and have really great, meaningful conversations with other people. It's like a gateway to, to a world of opportunities, trying different types of food. I like to try different foods, but there are certain things that just look gross and I just don't want to try it. But... Um, I just muster up the courage and do it, and sometimes I find I really like it, and sometimes I find out that, um, yeah, my uh, what I thought about it was right. It was gross. And uh, maybe go with someone that already likes it and uh, talks it up, and then usually their passion, when you're with someone that's really passionate about something, and you go, even though you're, you may be skeptical about it, usually their passion influences what you think about that thing that you're trying or doing. And uh, and I find oftentimes that someone is someone is someone someone that is really passionate about something, and they take me along to do whatever they're passionate about, whether I like it to the, the extent that they do or not. I find myself in the future when I talk about it with someone else, conveying some of that same passion that person uh, intrinsically first time gave to me and uh, shared with me. So, well, thank you. Yeah, my pleasure. Let's go back to Aaron and Christopher and see if they like Indian food more now that they've tried it, and if they have any other thoughts about the cuisine. Scale of one to ten, how did it taste? I'd give it a six. I would give it a seven point two five. Seven point two five. Okay, sounds good. You were surprised at all by anything? No, not really. I was all surprised. I had the chicken had bones in it. Yeah, I was surprised me too. by that. All right. And the little donut thing was pretty good. The dessert was excellent. Yes. The dessert was very high quality. I'll right. give the dessert that. All right, sounds good.